Welcome on in, guys. Three bold takes again, and we have the military bowl uh, between Virginia Tech and Tulane. Now, if you just look at these two teams and their records, uh, it's going to indicate that one team should definitely win this game, uh, and that's Tulane at 11 and two versus Virginia Tech at six at six and six. Uh, Vegas would disagree. However, Virginia Tech is currently a ten and a half point favorite, and I I'll, I want to I want to mention this on on. Uh, games that just doesn't make sense right Tulane on Capital One if you're following along in our bowl mania and you're playing along which I hope you are um Tulane 80 percent of all people pick Tulane to win this game simply because of brand recognition and probably just seeing that 11 and 2 record right under their name um so interesting matchup here Chase let's swing it over to you first here um who you got in this one yeah so you look at Virginia Tech's schedule they started off pretty poor um Two and two and four in their first six, but then they flipped it around. They went four and two in their back half. So they ended up having a really good end of the season. The biggest caveat I have in this game, uh, I know Virginia Tech, I know Virginia Tech can be a good team. The biggest caveat I have is with Tulane, though. Michael Pratt has decided that he is going to go through the senior, uh, go to the senior game, my bad, and then go to the uh, draft. So he is not going to be playing in this game. And he's been a lifeblood for this team, for this Tulane Green Wave team. And so I think without him, that's going to be a huge hindrance in what they're going to do. So I'm personally going to go to Virginia Tech. I think Virginia Tech had a uh, pretty good defense. They kind of showed it in the second half of the season, definitely against uh, average teams. And I think Tulane is going to be pretty average without their starting quarterback. Quinn? Yeah, you look at you look at this and Freddie, you hit on 80% of people pick Tulane. I think that's because they just don't know that Mark Press is playing. Like being completely honest. Uh, I wouldn't say it's brand recognition. I mean, Virginia Tech used to be on top of the sport at one point. But I think the most important thing for this is what, what is the trajectory of these teams? If you're Tulane, you're trying to establish yourself as a long-term uh, top-end uh, G5 program in the 12-team playoff era. A uh, win over a 6-6 six and six team will do that, or at least will help with that. The problem is without Pratt and where Virginia Tech is, having a positive bounce back to their season, trying to get back to what, honestly, Virginia Tech should be in ACC football, which is at least like a nine-win team every year, maybe eight if you're being uh, disingenuous or they're having an off year. I, I think Virginia Tech's in too good of a spot without Pratt to win doesn't get done. So give me Virginia Tech by six. Yeah, um, and I guess what I mean by brand recognition is recency bias. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's a better term here, considering Tulane did play um, in a New Year's Six Bowl in the Cotton Bowl last year against USC and won the game. Yeah. Um, so you've got that going for them. But like you guys hit on, man, Pratt, dude, it, it, without him, I don't know what Tulane is going to be like personally. Um, I think Virginia Tech has a lot to prove coming into this game. Yeah. Um, you know that they've had some some down years these past couple of years. Um, personally, I think it's time to move move on from the coach. But no, that's neither here nor there. Um, Chase, if if you, I know you're a man of superstition here. You look at uh, Virginia Tech's last five. You go back to Syracuse, win, loss, win, loss, win. It should be a loss, but it's not going to be. It's going to be a win uh, against Tulane. Virginia Tech is going to get it done. Um, in the military bowl and 80% of America will pick this game wrong. 